So the goal should be to move to the next purpose in life and to get to the next part of your assignment. If you believe you have been assigned to a person or group, you discover your assignment. You discover what your purpose is and what contribution you are to make in this world. You are usually assigned to a person or, or people. So I learned this from uh, a minister, Dr. Mike Murdoch, and he said, um, you discover your assignment in his series about assignment. And uh, he said the difference uh, between you being assigned to a person or to a people can be illustrated in the relationship between Moses and Aaron in the Bible. Moses was assigned to the children of Israel, but Aaron was assigned to Moses. And so you have to know your limits. Moses couldn't um, manage the people. He managed the priesthood part of that that larger vision of trying to get them uh to the promised land or back to the promised land really and um he could manage that but he couldn't manage the larger vision of um the children of israel and and all and all of their issues and you know things like that and so um um you could be assigned to people so for instance i'm assigned I believe I'm assigned to college students. I teach college English, so I'm, I'm assigned to college students. Little kids, high school, elementary, they love me. They love being around me. They, um, they take to me very uh, well, but I'm not assigned to them. I don't have the same, uh, I'm not, I, I would never treat them wrong or anything like that, but I don't have the same passion and uh, temperament and personality. Even though I have a very good personality, I don't have it to teach at that level. I like students who are older and in transition and who have messed up and need to get back on track. And and I tend to be a person who catches people up and uh, um, feel any gaps in their understanding. And so I like them when they have already learned so much or, or have made a lot of mistakes and they just need sort of like a guiding hand. And so I feel that I am assigned to college students and I feel that I am assigned to the community college environment. I have taught at a university, but as a graduate student, and one day I would like to get my PhD and teach a couple of courses, but my main focus, my main purpose, my main passion is at the community college level because they too are in transition those first two years. And I tell students all the time, that you are not here just to do your basics you are here because this is two years of planning planning your transition to the university or wherever you are going to go and if you have that in mind that you have two years of planning you won't you won't be so uh quick to leave the situation if you look at only okay i'm doing my basics you say oh why do i have to do all my basics and everything i'm tired of this why can't i just go to the university then you might try to leave out of some sort of fake frustration because everybody has to do their basics, whether they are at the university level, the, uh, the first two years or at the community college level, everybody has to do their basics, but you could fool yourself into believing that uh, it is wasting your time. But if you look at it as a two year transition plan, then it's much easier to count off the months or count off whatever it is you need to count off so that you um, you reach those uh, the end of those two years and make your transition.